Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate a use case to pass a user input value and dynamically generate the top end data on this dashboard. Let's start with the consumer experience. Uh, as a consumer user, I have a filter control exposed to me, which is uh, of a user input value. And notice that when I enter a value and hover out, the value that I entered now gets passed on as a top end value for the visualization definition. And the bar chart is now dynamically uh, generated for the top five products by sales. The table now shows top five customers by sales and the map now is reflecting the top five cities by sales. Let's maybe go ahead and change this value to 15. Now all of the visualizations will render the top 15 data for the respective attributes that we have defined in the visualization definition. Now let's look at how the setup of this dashboard is. Uh, let's go into the authoring mode. And uh, let's start by examining the parameter tab on the data panel UI. In the parameter tab, I have a, a parameter created called top end. Let's uh, look at the definition of the parameter. It's a very simple definition of integer data type. The allow multiple values and alias options are turned off. And I've set the possible values to any, meaning that I want the user to input a value. Uh, and I'm simply defaulting a value as uh, 10. Right now that I've created my parameter, I have to connect this parameter to the visualization definition. So to do that, I have added three visualizations on my canvas, this bar chart, the table, and then the maps. Let's start by looking at the grammar for this bar chart. So for this bar chart grammar, it's by product subcategory and then the sales, and I've added an expression filter. Let's uh, edit the, the expression filter. It's a pretty simple expression that looks at a rank function of the sales column and it's basically comparing to the value that the user inputs uh, from the parameter that we just created and uh, the operator it is using is that it should be less than or equal to the value that the user inputted uh, on the parameter which is exposed as a filter control on the dashboard filter bar I've done the same thing for um, each of the visualizations on the canvas if we go to table and uh, open up the expression filter you have the same expression for the table and also for the map as a last step what i've done is uh, i've exposed the parameter as a filter control and uh, it now becomes or acts as a filter for the consumer user and to finish up the polishing of the visualization i've also parameterized the title of the visualizations to uh, dynamically reflect the top end values selected by the user or inputted by the user uh, at runtime so let's go ahead and load this dashboard in consumer view one more time and let's try to change the value to maybe top three and you would notice that my visualizations uh, including the title is dynamically updated to reflect the top three data for this dashboard thank you for watching this video